G'day guys, thanks for stopping by to the Real Australian Dream Tour Diaries. Our names are Hayden and Amber, and we're on a mission to raise $50,000 for critically ill kids by playing music in caravan parks and campgrounds. We're going to be taking you behind the scenes of our lives on the road, as well as showing you around this amazing joint called Australia. Hope you enjoy this episode. Well, g'day team, mate. We've got a cracking spot for you guys today. We are at Betty's Beach, about 40 k's from Albany, WA. And mate, this is a ripping free camp. That's right, you heard it. Free camp, an absolute beauty, mate. We spent the last week or so here and it's been a fantastic time. We've been spear fishing, uh, catching from the ocean, which is amazing. We've been swimming. Oh mate, we've just been exploring, four wheel driving, absolutely loving life. Can't get any better than this and it's free, absolute beauty. Uh, so enjoy this episode, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and head to our socials, The Real Australian Dream. But let's quickly take you for a quick look. Try to make it up for my mistakes But everywhere I turn some hearts will break Something, someone will end up getting hurt again There's no need All right team, how good does that look? As I mentioned, we are at Betty's beach and this place is a jam. I've got the leader expedition as always but mate let me tell you Betty's Beach is a camp that you simply got to put on your list and then you've just got to pray that you can get here because it is not the easiest place to secure a site because there's only eight sites in total in this little campground. They are free but it is managed by the Albany Council so there's a caretaker or a camp host on here all the time to look after the campground and essentially it works on a first in best dress basis. It is full pre Pretty much 100% of the time uh, and you've simply got to rock up try your luck and hopefully someone's leaving or someone's left uh, when you're trying to get in now their facilities there is toilets drop toilets but that is it no water obviously no power and no rubbish bins either so you've got to take your rubbish with you it's 14 kilometers off the south coast highway okay heading into albany about 40 kilometers uh, away from uh, from albany 14 kilometers of pretty good dirt road a few corrugations in parts but mate the backpackers they bring their their highs out they bring their uh their old combis out and they don't have any sort of drama so on road off road two wheel drive vehicles you'll be fine motorhomes buses the lot you won't have to worry about it here at betty's now this is actually there's a few shacks you can see this one behind me there's a few shacks that uh they're on this little parcel again they are owned by the albany council but they're leased to from um from third parties um because in the in the uh in the winter or in the season april may this is a huge big australian salmon um, fishing spot essentially the salmon come into the bay they haul tons and tons and tons and tons of them um, and this is um, you know a fisherman's village essentially um, when the uh, when the salmon season uh, is on there is a week maximum stay period here as well um, so you can't stay here for an extended period um, a week only is, is the limit you can stay here so we've been spear fishing we'll show you that as well mate unbelievable spear fishing uh, there's a four-wheel drive track as well up the uh, up the mountain uh, and just a really good spot to chill. You've got a little protected cove here, like you would have seen on the drone footage. It's a ripper spot, Betty's Beach, mate. Absolutely love it. Free camping at its best. Uh, just, it's our last WA camp and we're so bloody stoked. So Betty's Beach, put it on your list. Betty's Beach and we're trying our luck 
night fishing off some rocks. You can probably see the big dog's got a bit of got a bit of blood on the face. He's taken a tumble early, but hopefully we can nail a few fish and uh, get ourselves dinner. The weather's not looking too good uh, here for the next couple of days, so hoping we can make the most of it tonight and uh, see what uh, see what we can't get. Anyway, we'll check in if we uh, if we get onto a few. Two People's Bay just up the road from Betty's Beach and we are going to try our luck with a bit of spear fishing. So let's go and check it out. This place, it's blowing a gale so we've got the wetsuits on and we'll see how we go. And anyway, we'll take you for a bit of a spear. We've gone spear fishing at bloody where are we? East Bay Campground. Just around the corner from uh, Betty's Beach. Some unreal snorkeling and even better spear fishing. Hold this bastard up. Look at that, you beauty. Hold that up, Richie. Yeah. Look at that, mate. Unbelievable. <laughs> Quick tip for you as well. They also have abs, uh, abalone on the rocks as well. So take a little bag out. You do have to have a license, so make sure you get your license. About 50 bucks. But we're eating, eating tonight. Thanks to the beautiful waters off Betty's Beach and bloody East Bay Campground. So make sure if you're coming here, go check it out. If nothing more, have a bloody snorkel because it's pretty cool. All right. Well, mate, let me tell you, the spear fishing here is pretty bloody spectacular. We've gone out three or four days and there hasn't been one day we've come out, haven't come out with a feed. Small and a little spear. We jagged this uh, beautiful 45 centimeter, got a harlequin fish, uh, five star eating, bloody epic mate. And uh, that's gonna be lunch. So uh, the good thing about spear fishing, I haven't done a lot of it, um, but you can pick and choose and be a, little bit, be a little bit more selective. And it's a good way to see what's underneath the surface as well. So spear, for all you spear fishers out there and uh, those you guys, there's some even just epic snorkeling around this joint uh, that makes for some, uh, some really good activities. I've got a microphone on the GoPro, so you probably can't hear it as, ba as bad as it is, but it is blowing about 50 kilometers of wind here right now. Uh, and uh, Betty's Beach Bay itself is, uh, is copping it, but there's plenty of bays and secret little bays and points whereby uh, the other side of it will be, um, will be uh, protected. So that's what we did this morning. Went on the other side of the point, jumped in there, and, uh, and got ourselves lunch. You beauty. Just one day, one day I wish I didn't take unnecessary risks and end up in predicaments. So just out Betty's Beach, just before you hit the campground, there's a little track just to the uh, left as you're coming in to it. Yeah, that's right, just to the left. You go down there, I was like, oh, that's gonna be some cool scenery. Um, and then it goes for about 10 minutes, 
well worth it. Have a bit of a gaze, takes you over these amazing rock formations. I'll put some footage over the top here. But then you get to this huge bloody hill. And I sat at the top of it thinking, do I go down this hill or do I uh, turn around and go back? I was like, no, I won't go down it because it's super soft sand, rocks. It's an absolute nightmare. I I'm, I'm, don't even know if I'll get up it um, because it is really, uh, really steep and soft. But I was like, there must be another way out because um, there's no way that many people get up this hill. So now I'm down here by myself, no reception, no nothing, and we get to a dead end track. That track ends there, nowhere to turn around, um, nowhere to um, get out. So I am gonna have to conquer that hill. So let's have a look. I'm so bloody annoyed at myself. I'm too old to be taking stupid bloody Oh man, I, I'll try and get some footage to show you. I got some footage going down that bloody mountain, but it is steep and I'm actually genuinely concerned whether or not, without any other one, any other, any else or anyone else around, whether or not it's gonna be possible. And the problem as well is that the car's been having a bit of few troubles in, um, uh, in four wheel drive as well, which is just, Makes it even more idiotic that I even decided to do it, you know, but I'm always bloody she'll be right. She'll be right mentality. She'll be right, as I say. And then it's bloody not. Even this little thing here is gonna be challenged. It's just bloody. I'm just annoyed at myself, yeah? I'm I can't even get up this one, mate. I didn't go this one. Cannot even get up this one. Side of the hill. I don't think I'm getting out of this. I don't think I am. They are potentially doing damage. Yeah, like that's. That's a real tiny one. That is a real tiny one in comparison to what I've got to do. And the problem is there's bloody huge bumps in it, mate. Like, anyway, I'll show you guys this here. Well, we're gonna have a crack. I'm gonna have a crack at this tough one first. Cause there's one over here that says it looks a lot easier that track, but it says rehabilitation zone. So, hey, we're gonna have a crack at the tough one, I guess, and see. I don't like me chances. But anyway, let's have a go. this one of the uh one of the really cool things about betty's beach is that you're only about half an hour 40 minutes away from albany itself so we've stopped in here today to do a few groceries to get a few supplies and where did we find baba we found a pick your own strawberry farm so 25 bucks you get to uh stop in bring bring the kids down and they give you a big a big crate to uh to fill full of strawberries how good's that Right, guys hope you guys have enjoyed that episode as much as we've loved our time at betty's beach it's a windy day today so we're out of here but we have loved it mate you get this place on a couple of good days 
it is worth it and an absolute gem of a spot so if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe here uh, and send us a comment below and uh, find us on our socials the real australian dream keep living legends travel safe enjoy bye won't you step on it